Welcome to Pitter Potter Studios Make It Monday video. Today we're painting a 16 by 20 canvas. This design is called Acorn Trio. It's perfect for the fall, it's a lot of fun to paint, and it's pretty simple. Today we'll be employing some basic um, coloring techniques, some basic texture techniques, along with highlighting and shading. And um, I just love these acorns. They're bright and pretty and perfect for fall. This background color is two parts of phthalo blue mixed with two parts of titanium white in acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is water soluble, but it can stain clothing and other surfaces. So when you're painting a canvas, you want to be sure that you always protect all of your surfaces. Wear an apron or a towel over your lap. It's just helpful. And you may also want to always have a wet paper towel at hand just in case you paint outside of the lines. A wet paper towel can take that paint right back off the canvas for you if you catch it immediately. So I like to do that too. Now here I'm actually using a three quarters flat brush and um, using that to fill in the background. And as I get it all blue, then you'll see I go back again with a little bit of additional white just to brighten up some of that center of the background there. Um, that's just a little bit of white added to the mixture to bring it up a little bit. Just adds a little texture, keeps you from having any straight lines. We don't want any straight lines in this composition. It's a beautiful, wispy fall composition. Now I'm taking a slightly smaller brush. This one is a number 12, and this is green oxide. I'm just dry brushing these leaves with some green oxide to add that, that hint of what was, what used to be a green leaf that's now starting to change color. So we're, we're laying down a little green undertone to these leaves, not everywhere on the leaves, but just um, mainly where the veins would hit. And, um, and then once we get that green oxide laid down, we'll go back over the leaves with a deep yellow to turn them all that beautiful autumn shade. These leaves were so much fun to paint. They weren't, um, you know, they're not particular. You don't have to paint them any particular way. They can be changing colors in any pattern that you like. So there's no right or wrong way to paint these leaves. Now here you can see I'm going back over with the deep yellow right on top of the green, turning those leaves a nice pretty golden hue. You want to get them all coated in yellow. Now we're adding a little bit of deep red to the tops of the leaves, just where the leaves would start turning red. Um, we'll actually add a little bit of some burnt sienna brown in some places as well, just to make them look like beautiful autumn leaves. I'm dry brushing again. Dry brushing is when you have just the tiniest amount of paint rubbed through your bristles of your paintbrush. That um, allows for a nice, soft, wispy effect. Just gonna add some of that deep red throughout all three of the leaves in this composition, just for that beautiful autumn look. Now 
Now here I'm taking some burnt sienna and painting the shadows underneath the acorns, just where the shadow would hit the leaf behind those two acorns. I'm going to let this burnt sienna dry and then you'll see me go back over that again with a phthalo blue mixture right over the top of the burnt sienna just to um, to cool down that brown some. This is the phthalo blue mixture. Shading the leaf as well. Now I'm just taking some burnt sienna, the same color we used for the shadows, and I'll paint in, I'm just filling, nothing special, filling in the branch and the tops and the hearts of the acorns. Just want to give everything a nice pretty brown undertone. And then I go back with some raw umber to do the shading. We'll add just straight raw umber anywhere that the, um, the light wouldn't hit. Makes for a lovely 3D effect. And then finally, we'll take a mixture of deep yellow with titanium white to add the highlights to the acorns. Um, and that is actually going to be the final step in this process. This painting is so much fun, and it is just the best way to get in the fall autumn spirit. Now that we've got these first cool, crisp days and the weather, it's just it's so much fun, such a pleasure to do. So these highlights just make that sunshine look like it's shining right on those beautiful acorns. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you'll join us next Monday.